Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ, and anybody else who's uh, come across my video. I want to read something to you that's pretty thought-provoking, and I hope that it does not cause any anger. It's not meant to. It shouldn't. Okay. It was titled, Kneeling. Do y'all kneel? I used to have to admit I don't kneel very much anymore. Well, anyway, this is called kneeling. I watched at least, okay, quote, I watched the Democratic leaders of Congress kneel in the halls of Congress for about nine minutes for the death of a black man named George Floyd. I have never seen them kneel for a fallen police officer. I have never seen them kneel for a fallen soldier. I never saw them kneel for the soldiers that Hillary and Obama left to die in Benghazi. I have never seen them kneel for the thousands of black and white babies aborted every day. I have never seen them kneel for a murdered white man or woman. I have not seen them kneel for the thousands of black on black murder victims. I have not seen them kneel for the thousands of elderly people that died in nursing homes due to the coronavirus, especially in New York. I have to ask, why are Democrats putting the life of George Floyd as more valuable than the lives of everyone else. In fact, Democrats have put so much value on the life of George Floyd, they have allowed rioting, looting, arson, murder, and mayhem in communities nationwide. They just allowed it. The police left their precinct in Seattle and they just allowed this stuff. Now look at this or listen. Ask yourself, why now? The family, parentheses, brothers and sisters, closed parentheses, of George Floyd opened a GoFundMe account to help the family. That's in quotes. Help the family. It has already raised $14,455,100 and still counting. From donations as of June 22nd, 2020. A lot of twos. Yes, almost 14 and a half million. This is for a guy who was arrested nine times, was a convicted drug dealer, parentheses, and at a drug deal the day he died, close parentheses, held a gun to the stomach of a pregnant lady while his five buddies robbed her home, did prison time three different times, totaling about eight years, and obviously didn't learn from our penal system, and America is memorializing him by painting murals of the guy on the sides of buildings. Like he's a hero? Unbelievable. Crime does pay. 
and to pour salt in, in the wound, Representative Pelosi, in parentheses, Democrat, closed parentheses, presented his brother a folded American flag flown over the Capitol in his honor in a beautiful tri-cornered presentation case. This was written up by John McNulty. I saw the video that finally got released that one of the police officers was wearing when he was arrested. I don't know how they made it look like there was a knee on that man's neck. That's not how he died. He was overdosed on a drug. Ketamine? No, fentanyl. They tried to arrest him, and he kept resisting. He didn't want to go back. No wonder. He'd already been there. The food's not so good. They make you get up early. They probably make you make your bed. And guys might beat you up if you don't do what they want. Or worse. This is not against George Floyd. This video is about the rest of it. Put any name you want and George Floyd. Well, actually, it is about him because he's the one they knelt for. We are not to kneel down or bow down to any man. But of course, none of the people in that room are like us. I hate it that he died. I hate it because he probably went to hell. It's never good when that happens. After all, you know, three times in jail, you'd kind of think people would learn their lesson. They didn't keep him long enough. I wonder if he was one of those released to make room for COVID, uh, what would you call it, resistors, like resisting masks, resisting the vaccine, whatever. Remember back when they let a whole bunch of them out of jail? Because they weren't such bad guys after all, or gals. They needed the space, and they didn't want all those... And inmates all crowded up together, they would might get COVID and give it to all to each other. So everybody had to have a private cell. That's part of it. That would be my guess. But yeah, this is pretty sad. Especially the one. I never saw them kneel for the soldiers that Hillary and Obama left to die. They were told to stand down. The Marines were told to stand down instead of move in and protect. What about their family? Did anybody start a GoFundMe account to help their family? Did he leave behind, did they leave behind spouses and children? What did that man leave behind that, ha that have to have $14 million for? That just makes me sick. That GoFundMe would even allow that. 14, nearly $14.5 million to help the family. Because now he wasn't around to steal for them. Honestly. <sighs> what more can I say? I 
I hope that the Lord gets into that family and they turn around and take that money and help the poor. Okay, maybe they were poor. Okay, so keep a million of it and give the rest away. Oh, they'll probably laugh at that. They saw it. But I'm dead serious. Anyway, enough said. Bye for now.